Hi, Leo. I have a message for you. <laughs> My name is Amber from Mystic Eyes the Journey. And this is a message for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and really just anybody who wants to tap into the energy of Leo today. So how you doing, Leo? I hope this finds you in your peace, in your love, in your life purpose, all of that. Let's see what spirit has for the leo collective if these messages resonate please like the video please leave me a comment maybe share it with another leo you know and subscribe to the channel all of these are ways that you can support me on my journey so i can support you on yours all right let's see spirit what do you got for leo all the beautiful lions out there my little daughter is Leo. So we got mad love for Leo here. All right. Leo. What do we got for Leo, 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 Leo? Leo. All right. Leo. Hello, Leo. <laughs> Earth to Leo. Where you at, Leo? Mm. I feel like a lot of my Leos are in hermit mode or in protection mode. That's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm feeling. Let's get one more. Getting that Leo don't want to be bothered right now. It's too much. I'm going to take that and leave that. Back of the deck energy death card. Okay. So endings, death, rebirth, new beginnings, page of pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Oof. Oh, we got a two for one here. Knight of Wands with three of Wands. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So off the bat with this death card, right, we got the endings and new beginnings, but I'm getting scorpionic energy of kind of a secrecy, right? With the Page of Pentacles, this is some sort of like new venture. It's like getting this seed getting this inspiration for something that will manifest physically or tangibly, right? Money, um, career status, goals, something along those lines, right? Holding it within your hand and being like, wow, this is really something, right? The page is the beginning of the journey. So we're not quite in the abundance yet, but we have the start. We have this stable start. And there's this layer of secrecy that's on top of it. And we have almost all of the court cards here. Not quite the mastery. We don't have the king, but we do have the knight of wands, which is moving quickly towards something. Now, I feel like for some of you, you may be working with somebody else. Not for all of you. This would just be confirmation for somebody who may be thinking about working with somebody else, right? I see you here, your energy holding onto the seed. And I feel like somebody is rushing towards you as well, right? Coming together. There's this energy of coming together. And at the middle of this is this queen of pentacles. Right, so this may be a collaboration between three people. If that resonates, that's confirmation. If not, these are going to be different archetypes within yourself, Leo. Because again, I said that there's this layer of secrecy on top of this. Right, so I feel like... Hmm. Now this will only resonate with some of you. Just the way that I'm seeing this with you holding the seed. I feel like this could be some sort of a business venture. With the intention that you eventually hand it off to somebody else. Almost like creating this is like an energy of like an inventor or something inventing something and then handing it off to somebody else and letting them do their thing with it. I don't know why I'm getting the, <laughs> the image of Shark Tank in my head, like coming forward with something that you've created, right? And it's not in its biggest form, in its smallest form, 
and giving it to somebody else. That's just what I'm seeing. And that the queen's, this queen of pentacles expertise is going to allow it to grow. Again, that's just some of you. For some of you, you are going to be all of these energies. You're going to be acting as all of these energies, right? Where you're taking an idea, then you're in its infancy, you're maturing it, allowing it to grow essentially, right? The Queen of Pentacles is a nurturing card. Think like the Empress archetype as well, right? That pregnancy energy, planting the seed. Now we grow it, right? There isn't much to do. We have to just leave it, right? And I feel like this is the energy of the majority of you. Where we're, we have all of this excitement around, oh my God, I have this idea. I have this thing. It's going to be amazing. But now we just have to sit with it. We have to let it grow. And it will grow because it's with the Queen of Pentacles. This is what she does. She nurtures, she nourishes, right? And once we get past that point of maturation, when it's ready to be revealed, it's going to be like, hello. It's on and popping. It's running. You can't stop it with this Knight of Wands. Now, at the very end, we have this three of wands, which is an energy of planning, right? There's an energy of stillness here, and I feel like that's what you're in. This new beginning that came from an old death, right? You had let go of something, let something end, and your reward for that was this page of pentacles, this new spark, this new idea, this like pop. Now you're being asked to kind of chill. This is an energy of planning your next steps and letting this seed mature. That's what I'm getting is your energy here. Slow down. It's too many. So I feel like a lot of you, when I was shuffling initially, I couldn't get anything out. The energy did not want to come out. It was cloaked in the secrecy. Um... And now it's like everything wants to come out. So we got to get in this, this balance. There needs to be some balance here. And I, and I totally get it because we, we have this excitement of the page. We have this knight of wands that just wants to go, go, go. But then we have this queen of pentacles at the heart that's like, where are you going? We have to let it grow. Chill out. Reiterated by the three of wands which is an action card, but it, it requires planning. Back of the deck, the emperor, which is Aries energy. Justice, what did I just say about balance? Wheel of fortune. Okay, so if you guys were not sure, um, whatever you're sitting on is, it's a big deal. It's a big deal, right, with this wheel of fortune. You're creating something that is going to create some immeasurable amount of status, control, um, maybe even allow you to be sit on some kind of a board I'm getting. So this, this is big deal energy. You're not imagining that. But we need to get through this period with this Queen of Pentacles. The Justice card is about balance. Right, using the mind, using the intellect, this Libra energy in its highest form of balance and logic. Right, we're being motivated materially with the Pentacles cards. And we have this energy behind us with the wands, like let's go, go, go. But now we have the swords energy that's like, think. And through that thinking, through that logic is going to create balance. Where's the cups? We got the hermit here. <laughs> Right, that's that cloaked energy, that energy of secrecy just popping up again. Where's the cups? There ain't no cups here. Let's see. The lovers, more air energy, Gemini. We got the devil in reverse. And then we got temperance, okay. So now... 
I mean, it ain't cups. Still Sag energy. It's still fire. But at least we got some water element within here. Right? This is how the water is going to manifest. Through the tempering of this fire. Through the tempering of our Knight of Cups. Our uh, Knight of Wands. And that's going to create this alchemical process. That's going to bring into fruition these manifestations in a physical way. Now, the death is asking us to let go of something, right? We had the death card in the beginning. Devil in reverse, letting go. Maybe toxic thinking patterns. I'm getting for a lot of you, it's going to be toxic thinking patterns. It's going to be energies of self-sabotage. Right, because the devil upright kind of represents an, as an energy outside of ourselves that we're chained to. In reverse, it can represent internal devils. Energies of doubt. So, you know, this isn't moving fast enough, so maybe I'll just give it up. No, you're sitting on something that is big. This is big energy. I'm going to clarify this lover's card. Lover's card with the devil reversed. Devil can represent, or I'm sorry, lovers can represent balance as well. But mostly it's just a choice. Oh, okay, what's in? Mm, okay, so the lover's card, the lovers here on the lover's card with the angel above them. These are inverse energies, right? We got the angel above them here, guiding them here. And we got the devil above these same people. Right, so there's a choice to be made. Which which way are we going to go? Are we going to chain ourselves to things that create us to spiral, create stagnancy, an inability to move forward? Or are we going to step in faith, make a choice based on faith? Right, there's a mountain between them. So there is work to be done. There is going to be work to bring this into a physical reality. And I feel like that work is going to be this devil energy. Self-sabotage. That's what I'm getting. Self-sabotage. What I really want to know is why Spirit is using the lover's card specifically to get this across. Because we did have the Hermit card, which makes me feel like for a lot of you, this is going to be a solo venture. But I am getting this energy of partnership as well. All right. I'm getting that these are two separate energies. These are two separate energies. So all the while that this is going on, I'm getting this energy related to love over here. And that that can somehow create stagnancy. It can create distraction. So that you can't focus your energy on here. So even though we're in a state of stillness, right? With this Queen of Pentacles energy, you still need to be giving attention and energy to what it is that you're creating. And if you're not careful, you can get into a self-sabotaging energy. Sorry, Leo, I love you. But sometimes... <laughs> When things are slow, you want a little, a little drama to spice things up. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. I mean, do it if you must, but I'm not here to tell you what to do. But it could be a self-sabotaging energy. Yeah, we got the Ten of uh, Cups with the Moon card here. Right, whatever this is, is going to create some sort of emotional abundance that is meant to be shared with other people. So that's why this lover cards is, lover's card is coming up. Because even though this is a solo venture, it is going to benefit other people. Right? And we're in this period of unknown. Anything can happen in the unknown. Right? And that could be a positive thing. Lovers. Or it could be a negative thing. Just depending on where your thoughts go. Right? Because when we're in this period of unknown... We're creating. We're in a period of creation. We're in a feminine energy. We can create whatever we want within the void space. So are we going to create this amazing path forward for whatever it is that you're working on so it is assured success? 
or are we going to create all kinds of obstacles and drama or whatever? And it's your choice. You can create whatever you want to. I'm going to hop into, what am I going to hop into? I'm hopping into the Divine Feminine Oracle. Just because with that moon card, I'm getting a feminine energy with the Queen of Pentacles, feminine energy. Let's see. What does spirit have to say? Piggybacking off of the tarot. Spirit, what do you have for Leo? What does Leo need to know? I think that's good. What do we got? We got Mary Magdalene. Oh, okay. Just funny because I always think of in the Bible that I don't think it's a coincidence that we have um, the two female archetypes in Jesus's life are both named Mary, right? We have Mary Magdalene. We have uh, the Virgin Mary, right? And this idea of feminine energy, being able to move off in these two different directions, right? We have the dark feminine archetype we have the light feminine archetype so we're in this energy of creation and it's like what are you going to create hold on i want to read this the apostle to the apostles i am the bridge between heaven and earth i am fully human and fully divine that's it that's exactly that energy right the humanness right that devil energy Right. So we don't even have to think, read the devil in its in its shadow attribute. We can read it in its light attribute. It's our humanness. Right. It's Capricorn energy. Right. The sea goat that goes from the lowest low to the highest high. Hmm. Interesting. St. Bridget, our lady of exalted light. I give endlessly because the light is without end. My soul is all I need. Hermit energy. Her, fully hermit energy. Right? Going within. And bringing light out. Mary of Nazareth, the mother of God. You got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. We got Mary Magdalene and then we got Mary of Nazareth. Okay. <laughs> the mother of God, I am blessed. My courage gives birth to the divine. That is so funny. That is so funny. Sorry, I'm cleaning up my, my space a little bit. Yeah, there's this energy with that lover's card. That's twin energy. Twin energies, mirror energies. That's why spirit used the lovers and the devil card to depict this, this energy, right? There are two sides within creation. Which side are you going to choose, right? Again, that's that Libra energy as well. Bringing into balance these two energies because my thought is that Mary is the same energy, Almost like Durga Ma and Kali Ma, if anybody um, studies Hinduism or Buddhism, right? She, it's the same energy. It's the same essence that splits off into these two archetypes, one dark, one light. But really, it's the same thing, this energy of oneness. Wait, wasn't that what the, was that what Mary Magdalene said? Ay, ay, ay. All right, I'm not even going to go try and find that. But um, yeah, that's that's what spirit is trying to convey. And that's why they chose the lovers and the devil. Very cool. So you got you got two roads to choose from. And I have a feeling whichever one you choose is going to bring you to the same result. So it don't even matter. That's an energy of destiny. No matter what road you choose, it's going to bring you to the same place. So then there's your option. Do you want to have a path that is, you know, wild and devilish or one that is, is peaceful and divinely led? 
by angels. It's up to you. The dolphin inner voice. Hmm. Inner voice. Listening to the inner voice. Intuition. Now in yoga, the dolphin is our preparation for full inversion. Now full inversion, inversion is anything where the hips elevate above the shoulders, right? It sends our Shakti or our energy from the lower chakras into the higher chakras, right? And the goal is to eventually be able to lift the legs up to fully invert. And again, that's that devil energy as well. Inversion, a changing of perspectives, using your inner voice to decide which way you want to go. The path of the soul or the path of the spirit is what I'm getting. The path of soul or the path of spirit. Wow. If you're going through this, Leo, please leave a comment and just like, I feel like what you have to say is valuable. I don't know if you're my pile that I, I picked up on like writing a book or something, um, or if that was just the collective energies, but I'm almost getting this energy of what kind of story do you want to tell? Hmm. The eagle, higher vision, higher perspective, a shift in perspective, right? Because the eagle is able to walk on the ground and it's able to fly in the air. So it has this truly unique perspective. I'm getting the energy or um, Siddhartha in my head. If anybody's ever read that book, oh my gosh, I got the chills. If you've ever read the book, Siddhartha, we got 2211 on the clock. It's a story to Buddha, to becoming the Buddha and taking two distinctly different paths. One would be the left-hand path or the lower path. One would be the higher path and how... His integration of these two energies together allowed him to be a wise Buddha. And we got the gong here. Symbolism of Buddhism. The gong is used quite often in their ceremonies and rituals. An exciting event. An exciting story, perhaps. The gavel, involvement with the law. That's that Libra energy. That's that Libra energy. I mean, it could be literal. You place it as it resonates. All right, perhaps um, some of you will be signing contracts. The I, psychic ability. Trust the inner voice. The dolphin the shifting of perspectives, the stork, news of a birth or a business opportunity. So funny with that queen of pentacles, got that energy of like nurturing a little baby, a little business, nurturing a little baby business. For some of you, it's a legitimate baby, right? We know that pentacles can represent the physical body, and represent those types of things as well. So if that's your case, that's your case. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there. This was a very exciting reading. Leo, if this resonates, please give me a comment down below. Let me know. Well, it's cloaked in secrecy, so don't tell me too much. But just let me know it resonates. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Until we meet again, namaste.